Hello, Rob from Talk Star Wars. You all know me, so um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different this evening. Um, I'm particularly warm, so I don't particularly want to sit in the living room and cook in my own balls. And uh, it also occurs to me, I have the house to myself, and I haven't done one of these yet. So what we're going to do today is Fandom Zone Live, so you can feel free to interact with my presence and also you get to see my nerdy stuff put on a mask to give yourself a fun look tap the magic wand to try one on all right they got any uh this all shit sorry about that i uh was sort of half expecting there'd be half decent masks but actually it's all it's more like filters than masks let me take these off because not actually doing anything for me it just makes me sound um weird in my ears anyway shall we fandom zone live let's bloody fandom zone live so um, i'm gonna start in the kitchen i know it's a weird place to start but i've got a few odds and sods for star wars related things that uh you know i think they're quite fun to show off right so i'm gonna switch cameras so i'm gonna be facing talking into this which is down here now can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? I'm not really sure. Um, it's supposed to, I'm supposed to keep this in one ear. I'll tell you what, let's do that as a compromise. Sit that in one ear and then I can hear myself perfectly fine, but I'm not, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm in underwater, which is what I was experiencing before. Obviously I'm not, but it felt like I was. Can we have a guided tour of lamp please and a full tech readout? Well, I can give you that. Right. There it is reorienting because I'm in a weird light so let's get to up close and personal with the misunderstood legend let's also plug it in I do find it weird that it kaleidoscopes it's very odd I don't really understand that. Anyway, this is my lovely flat where everything, all well, the magic happens. Such beauty, indeed. So I'm gonna kick this door too, because that's the bedroom. There's nothing Star Warsy in there. Uh, that's the bathroom. Definitely nothing Star Warsy in there. Um, in there is some fun stuff. So we'll get there in a minute. But first, we're gonna see. The odds and sods that I mentioned. Omer Ibrahim is watching. This must be weird for you, Omer, because you've been here a few times now. So in here, you might be able to see the logo already. So you've, first of all, you'll see there's a fully appointed odd bins. Um, Alcohol-free winter punch with Kylo Ren's face on it. Um, I'm, I haven't tried it yet. I'm a little afraid to. Uh, so I've also got this. A kitchen timer shaped like the Death Star, which is pretty cool. Uh, but over here, I've got a fridge magnet that I won, which I was quite pleased with. It was just after a conversation with my dad about, um, we were at a boot fair, and he was complaining that I always win things. And I said, well, you know, I don't always win things. And then what happens? I go and win something. So I'm just going to move up to the pop shelf. So here I have my pops and assorted action figures, so I've got my Lando Carizian, obviously. Amaral Bar in Force Awakens garb. Uh, at the back, it's not a pop as such, but it's a Captain Phasma bobblehead, which was on a rather beautiful offer, which I couldn't really pass up because I thought it was a rather nice piece. Um, Falcon, um, Scarlet Witch is from the same set, Civil War, I think. Luke Jedi, um, Green Saber, black outfit bit Deadpool um, there's a pair of Groots so there is a story behind that uh, one of them is broken and I bought a replacement for Jen and she decided to put them both together so which is quite cute but at the same time leaves me one pop space down Dumbledore the Punisher a Sam Fisher statue from a limited edition Splinter Cell Dr. Manhattan trying to cop a feel on John Constantine there didn't mean for that to happen a little John Constantine 
from the DC chess set. The Flash from the same set, I think. Uh, Batman poking in behind them. My only, my one and only amiibo, which is Yoshi in wool form, which is I thought was adorable. Door. Deathstroke behind him. Tyrion Lannister, post Battle of the Blackwater. Toothless from uh, How to Train Your Dragon. A Gentleman Claptrap from Borderlands. Vault Boy from Fallout. A Judge Dread Helmet. Leonardo. And a Duke Nukem bust, which I'm rather pleased with because it's hefty as all hell. So we're moving on. So I'm going to clear this space off the top here. Especially as there's letters with our address on. And in here, there should be my board games. So there's a series of them you can see here. Uh, and underneath here should be, yep, Star Wars Relian, because you can't read it because it's too bright. Uh, Doom. But there's a few that cellophane up, I noticed that. You'll notice, if I, as I have noticed, because I know it, because I live here. But there's a few cellophane up, because nobody plays with me, because I've got no friends. That's why I value you all so much on the Commonwealth and the VIP groups. In here though, Star Warsy again. The starter sets for Star Wars Destiny. Once again, still sealed, no friends. Two player games, you'll notice, will stay sealed. The three player games. Three player games aren't even a fantasy for me. Let's see what we've got here. That's another one with the dresses on. I don't think there's anything Star Wars inside there, but inside there are more board games. It's my Wii U controller. All my gaming remotes. Love that chair. In here are my games and Blu-rays. You'll notice the almost complete Clone Wars, but it's not complete, but it is now. I went all the way as far as Amazon and uh, ordered it in from Germany, the sixth series. And then underneath there is all my Star Wars Blu-rays, my v uh, DVDs, the original VHS, not VHS, the original DVD release and then the remaster, the one with the original trilogy and the original versions. Do -do -do. My Rogue One popcorn tin and drinks tin from seeing the movie at the Odeon. I kept them because they seem quite fun. My guitar, left-handed for those who are interested, actually strung left-handed. Comic books, a series of them. So there's some Marvel and DC mixed in, some more comics here, um, more comics down here as well. Constantine Hellblazer collection, which I'm still trying to complete. Uh, some Sandman ones, I haven't finished that yet. And there's a series of books. Right, moving on. Now comes the fun part. We have our Star Wars picture. One of those ones you buy from uh, stands and shopping centers. Another similar picture, the Joker from Dark Knight. I just like that one particularly. We've got the Imperial Assault board game, again, a little bit uh, cellophane up. Uh, some Hero Clicks bits. Uh, this is a birthday present from my friend Paul, a Mark V Sentinel, giant size, which I was quite chuffed with. A couple of the uh, Fast Forces sets I haven't had a chance to open yet. Marvel Knights. That's right, that's how much I paid. And the the one that's probably never going to be open now, even though I meant to buy it to open it. The Heroes in Half Shell Fast Forces Turtle set. Frasier has required part of my collection. Um, nothing Star wars -y there. Down here, there's a couple of books. So I'll dig them out rather than fart ass about. So these are all my Star Wars reference books. So. This book is rather marvellous. The Sounds of Star Wars. All the different uh, bits and pieces about stuff. And it will actually talk you through 
some of the sounds and there's cues that you can set off here on this little panel I'm not even convinced it's got batteries in it still so I'm just showing it because it's cool a uh, bit of a joke one a Haynes owner's workshop manual for the Falcon uh, the core book for the Star Wars role-playing game the illustrated Star Wars universe bit banged up but still a favorite of mine just because some of the landscapes are nothing short of stunning and some of the artwork is beautiful now remember there being a page in this book as a weird aside that I used to have to skip over because it freaked me out and I can't remember for the life of me which page it was now looking back on it this was a while ago admittedly I was probably about 13 and weird uh, visual dictionary of Force Awakens Star Wars in a hundred scenes so it's just a series of important scenes from the movie with a bit of background trivia and a bit of odds and sods this one's cool Rob Phillips you'll like this it's a DK book Lego Star Wars small scenes from a big galaxy in actual fact I think this is the kind of book that one day Rob Phillips will author and we'll all be like I knew him when but look at that some of the cool stuff they make just using in a similar way to let's say in a similar way to what Rob does Rob is much more talented with that stuff in my opinion that was never going to go well so in here I've got a little overflow drawer of Star Wars things that haven't found their way to a shelf yet so I'm just going to share a few with you so my only ventures into Disney Infinity so Obi-Wan Han Solo and Sabine rather like those then Pops, more Pops in fact did I show oh no they haven't got there yet, that's fine um, some bits for Imperial Assault so uh, I've got a Lando a Bosk an Obi-Wan Kenobi Grand Inquisitor because they're the ones I wanted Captain Cassian Andor Ahsoka, I think I've mentioned before, director Krennic, and Sabine without the mask. There are two different versions. I've got the unmasked version. And then I've got some Star Wars Destiny spare dice in here. Some uh, booster ones, because I'm a bit of a booster fiend, as anybody who knows me well enough will know. I'm a bit of a slave to random unknown quantities. So anyway, at some point I'll find a home for those in the flat and they'll make their way to a shelf. Over here is the Clixatorium. So in those drawers is somewhere in the region of probably three or four hundred Hero Clicks. There are some in here which are being sold and here. Quite a few to sell and this is where I keep, um, well it's Two, it's twofold, it's the pack of materials for sending away the ones I sell and it's also the, where I keep stock for things that I'm going to unbox so these are the cool new additions I've got here 15th anniversary what if alternate universe characters now even cooler still are my other two pop acquisitions so from Smuggler's Bounty Ben Kenobi with his little lightsaber look and then had to be done for all and so I did I got quite a you know I, th I feel quite a reasonable price on those because the Ben Kenobi was 14 pounds which for smugglers bounty exclusives is usually probably about twice that and I got this one as well which is not Star Warsy but it's Marvel so it's Disney Thunderbolts Punisher because it was reduced so behind here so up here I've got some of the uh, hero clicks figures that I use most often uh, kept away in here and also the ones I want to keep safe keep nice because actually some of the ones in here I'm not sure if the glue's melted or whether they've just been sort of knocked but a couple of them are broken so that's a shame behind here a giant Dr. Manhattan hero clicks with his own little spritz bottle but yeah he can be played in the game against well whoever you want really as long as they got the points so in here some of the hero clicks get some bobs in there in here is my X-Wing stuff. So, 
unboxed, unopened stuff. So first of all, the ghost from the Rebels. Actually, there's a couple of bits in here too. So we have Sabine's tie. Keeping the prices too stum just because you don't care. And nor should you. It's weird and boring. Tie Strikers. My favourite ship from Rogue One. Just because of the old design. It's pretty cool. And then in here. In these rather nice felt hair cases. I have... my existing collection so dials and my ships so I've got the Moldy Crow B-Wings, X-Wings, A-Wings Millennium Falcon the original Millennium Falcon uh, B-Wings, A-Wings some terrain and bits and bobs so those were the Rebels and the uh, Resistance and obviously in the other one no prizes for guessing contains Empire and First Order so here's again layer of bump tokens and all that garbage TIE fighters, styles, TIE interceptors, TIE phantoms basically a friend of mine got a load of job lots uh, TIE fighters, Slave 1 Omar asks no scum ships? No I've never actually funny enough bulk of my collecting was done before Scum was even a thing. Um, I'm not sure if Boba Fett counts. I don't think he does. I think he's Imperial. But if he's not, then I don't own any, no. Um, none of them have really ever interested me. And uh, obviously you have to bear in mind, I pay for my ships. So if I want something new in the Scum thing, some of them are sort of 25, 30 pounds each right well I think oh that's cool actually I'm just going to show you that so this is what the uh, Star Wars Destiny boosters look like you'll notice I've opened boosters without playing the game that's kind of how I roll and these are quite cool Wonder Woman gravity feeds from the new uh, new series I think that about does it you know so yeah, that's all my Star Wars stuff. And you've even got a chance to look at a bit of Hero Quick stuff as well, which aren't you lucky? You hear me mention it all the time and think, what are these bloody things? And now you've seen where they're kept. So uh, thank you for indulging me while I take a wander around what is quite a nice flat, really. I'm very, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it is a bit warm. Uh, case in point, it is currently 28 degrees, 29 degrees indoors at 10 past midnight right well that's gonna do it for me i think so thank you guys for watching and uh bye for now Let's talk about Loot Crate. Are you on a quest for epic gear, housewares and collectibles? Loot Crate offers an epic range of pop culture items for less than $20 per month. Whether you're shopping for the geek in your life or you are that geek, Loot Crate is the best surprise you know is coming. Every month there's a different theme and new and exclusive items that you can only get with Loot Crate. Treat yourself every month or give the gift of geeking out to a friend or a loved one. You have until the 19th at 9pm Pacific to subscribe and receive that month's crate. And when the cutoff happens, that's it, it's over. Make sure to head to lootcrate.com forward slash talkstarwars and enter the code talkstarwars and save $3 off your new subscription today.